Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So I've been recently messing around with Void 3.0 on my Warlock to see if I can make any cracked new builds with them. And in case you all don't know, the Warlock actually has an entire aspect dedicated to making your grenades better. So I started to head in that general direction and I was actually able to make a build that pretty much has 100% uptime on your Void Grenade, which is absolutely insane. And let's go ahead and jump into it and I'm going to show you guys how I actually made this build. So first things first here, if you guys have not already gone and purchased all of the new aspects and fragments from my core array in the tower, you want to make sure you go ahead and do that because we will be using some of them in this build. If you're a new light player and you're just getting into the game, I believe you probably have to follow some sort of quest line to actually unlock the subclass. And then all you have to do is go talk to her. You can purchase all of these for glimmer from her. And then all you have to do after that is meditate at that little podium right next to her. And then they'll all automatically be unlocked and you'll be good to go. So basically this is a void elemental well build and it's all about trying to get our grenades back as often as possible as you can already tell by the title. And the way we do that is by picking up all of these wells off the ground that we spawned in via using our grenade. So if anybody doesn't know what elemental wells are, they're basically these little different colored orbs that drop on the ground. They look like an orb of power but there's ones for arc, solar, void and as well as stasis and basically they work the same way as a charge with light build does when you pick up an orb of power when you pick up these wells you get different buffs depending on what armor mods you're actually running at that given time so now let's go over how we built our void 3.0 subclass on our warlock starting off with the abilities at the top here i'm using healing rift burst glide and pocket singularity none of these really matter and aren't that important you want to make sure you're running vortex grenade here as i feel like it is the best one to use Overall, it pulls the targets inward and is very easy to get kills with. Next up for the aspect, we're using Chaos Accelerant. So as you can see there for the Vortex Grenade, it increases the size and linger duration. And we're also using Feed the Void here. So any Void ability kill will proc Devour. This also counts for the Nova Bomb, which is really good. Devour is excellent for survivability. And also for the Fragments, we're using Echo of Exchange. So Melee Final Blows grant Grenade Energy. This also applies to the melee with the glaive, which is really good. Basically a free demolitionist perk right there. We're also using Echo of Remnants. So you're lingering grenades. So the Vortex grenade has increased duration. And we're also using Echo of Undermining. So the Void grenades weaken targets as a 20 discipline stat penalty. But overall, it works the same way as an Oppressive Darkness grenade used to, which is really strong for a fragment there. So for me personally, I like to use the Vortex Grenade and it's pretty simple. As you can see on screen here, mixed with that aspect and fragment, they're literally the size of the moon and they also last for a very long time, which allows them to even chisel away at some pretty tanky enemies. So you want to make sure that whatever grenade you use, you can actually consistently get kills with it because our grenades are what actually spawn in our elemental wells. And in case you all don't know, when you pick up these wells, not only do they give you the buffs with the corresponding mods on your armor, they also allow all of your abilities to go on cooldown and they're a very big asset to how this build actually works. So again, make sure that you choose a grenade if you want to change from the vortex that allows you to get kills consistently with them. So the other cool thing with this build is because of the feed the void aspect we're literally getting devour every time we get a kill with a void ability because we're not really focused on the melee we're not going to be proccing it with that but obviously with our grenade we're literally throwing those non-stop so as long as we kill an enemy with our grenade we get devour and in case you all don't know once you have devour you have it for 10 seconds upon killing another enemy it will refresh in the timer and every time you get a kill with devour it also gives you all your health back which is perfect because this allows you to go even low res if you really want to because you'll just be constantly getting your health back every single time you or your grenade or any other ability gets a kill. Next up moving into the weapons for this build in the kinetic saw I'm just using the osteo striga exotic smg. I also have the enigma crafted up to have enhanced grave robber and enhanced frenzy. These are really good and also for the heavy I'm using the other half and also another good option could be the fallen guillotine. I recommend using a void heavy weapon here and also probably a sword and I'll get to that in just a little bit. Next up going over the build and all of the armor mods we're using. On the helmet here I'm running ashes to assets, harmonic siphon and volatile flow. For the exotics of choice I'm using controverse holds here with some champion mods and font of might there. On the chest piece I'm using concussive dampener, sniper damage resistance and font of wisdom. On the boots we're using Glaive Scavenger, Better Already, and Elemental Ordnance. And then lastly on the class item I'm using Suppressing Glaive, Bomber, and Bountiful Wells. You want to make sure the helmet and the class item are both set to Solar Affinity to be able to socket in those mods or at least two of your armor pieces. Next up I'm just shy of 4 mobility. We have a little over 4 res, 100 recovery. Our discipline is actually over 80 but 20 is getting taken away from that fragment. 
we have six intellect and a little over two strength there. So I like to use ashes to assets with this build so much because obviously it's a grenade build and if anybody doesn't know what that mod specifically, every time your grenade gets a kill, you get fed your super back. So as you can imagine, we'll be throwing our grenades nonstop. So this is allowing us to get our Nova Bomb back like literally five times faster than normal, even with a moderate amount of intellect, which is absolutely cracked. So that's definitely why you want to run that there. Also, I'm using Siphon because that allows us to create more orbs of power with our void weapons. And lastly, you definitely want to put on Volatile Rounds. So Volatile Rounds affect the shooting aspect of the Glaive as well as the sword. So you definitely want to make sure that you're using two void weapons to be able to get Volatile Rounds because they're no joke. They're very strong and make sure you claim them from your seasonal artifact. They only cost two energy. So another big thing here is that while we're using Controverse Holds here, you want to make sure that you're charging up your Void Grenades before you throw them. That's because the Armor Prick says you get the Grenade Energy back upon hitting an enemy with a charged Grenade. You also have increased resilience while you're charging up the Grenade which is really nice. Also in terms of the Artifact Mods, I'm just using the two Champion ones because I want this to be an end game viable build. And also we're using Phantom Might, which you can grab for only one energy, normally that costs four. So basically every time we pick up an Elemental Well, and in our case we're going to be picking up Void Elemental Wells. So that is going to increase our Void Weapon damage, which is why I recommend running a Void Heavy along with that Enigma because they'll both be Void. And you'll be getting that straight damage buff to both of those weapons, which by the way is actually a bigger damage increase than High Energy Fire with a Charge with Light build, so that's really good. And also on top of that, because we'll be creating so many of these orbs will literally have that damage buff up for all of our void weapons literally non-stop which is absolutely insane so i also really like to run the font of wisdom mod somewhere on the build as well so basically every time we pick up a well we're getting a boost to our intellect and because we'll be picking them up literally non-stop that's almost like a permanent intellect boost to our build which is cracked you could probably get your super back quicker with zero intellect on this build and running the ashes to assets and font of wisdom mod than you were if you were running a 100 intellect build no joke those two mods alone literally cover the entire super aspect of this build and why i recommend running them and then wrapping up with the armor on the boots i like to run glaive scavenger so that way i don't run out of ammo with it and you also need to make sure you have elemental ordnance somewhere on the build that's what actually allows our grenades to spawn in these elemental wells and what allows the build to work as intended. You need to make sure you have that mod on somewhere. It costs 3 energy and it's a universal mod so it can go on any armor affinity. And then lastly on the class item, if you want to use the glaive also, I recommend suppressing glaive. It was actually banned in the day 1 raid race because of how good it is. And then also you want to make sure that you have another solar affinity armor piece to be able to put in bomber and bountiful wells. Bomber basically allows our grenade to come back even faster and then Bountiful Wells is really good because that allows us to spawn even more wells every time we throw our grenade and get kills with them. Anyways, that is it. That is my new Warlock Infinite Void Grenade build. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up and if you didn't, give it a thumbs down and let me know in the comment section why below. And also, if you did enjoy this content, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want to stay posted for more content like this in the future. Anyways, I hope you guys go out there and make this build. It's really fun. I've been playing on it a lot recently with my Warlock, and I can't wait to go ahead and make other builds with Void 3.0 on my other characters and share it with you guys. Anyways, again, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you all in the next video. Until then, peace out, and have a good one.